Hey everyone, it's just me, Austin here. I'm going to do a quick cockpit flow, uh, pre-takeoff, uh, following the checklist and the GUMPS method, gas, undercarriage, mixture, propeller, seat belts, and lights as required. So, on pre-takeoff, make sure gas selected on the right tank, fuel pump will be on, undercarriage gear down obviously, mixture full rich, prop full forward, seat belt secured, lights landing light on, and uh, Beacon would be on, strobes, you name it. And we are good to go. And cockpit flow complete for takeoff. And then, after takeoff, our climb out, again, the gumps. So gas, good. Fuel pump can actually come off. Landing light would come off. Since our hand would be in the same position anyways. Mixture again, full. Prop, we'd pull back. And at climb, we'd actually be looking 25 squared, so 2,500 RPM and 25 inches manifold pressure. And we addressed our throttle and prop accordingly for that. And then uh, obviously our seatbelts will still be fastened. We already hit the lights because our hands were there for the fuel pump already. So following the flow, it works pretty well in the arrow. And then if we were coming in, I'd say pre-landing checklist, Again, with the gumps. So gas, at that point, you'd probably switch tanks because we like to switch tanks every 15 minutes. And then undercarriage, gear would be coming down. We'd be looking for first gear in transition on the orange and then three green. That means three gear down and locked. Mixture, again, full rich. Prop, full forward. And then throttle is required. Seat belts, obviously, you want fastened. Once you have your clearance to land, you'll obviously be landing light on and then you're not only do you have your landing line you get this verification that you are clear to land so i was taught to use that little trick don't flick it on until you have a clearance to land everyone's different but sometimes you switch it up barring anything else that's your cockpit flows for the piper pa 2800 200 arrow